Hey, all my Sunday school friends. I really miss all you guys. I really miss being in class and I really miss church. And I hope you're doing good and I hope your family's doing good and I hope you're listening to your parents and you're doing what they tell you to in this crazy time. So this video is to welcome you to the Facebook page. This is gonna be a page where we um, come together and I'm going to do your Sunday school lessons um, through video. So this video is gonna be your review video. I'm gonna go over a couple of the lessons that we've already went over and I'm just gonna jog your memory of what we've went through for the past couple of weeks. And so the first lesson that we went through was Rahab and her spies. I hope y'all remember. Um, what we did in that lesson. I'm just going to go over a few things for each lesson to kind of jog your memories of what we did and what we went through. And so this lesson, we talked about Rahab and she lived inside the city of Jericho. And so God, he had chosen Joshua to lead the Israelites after Moses had died. And so Joshua um, sent in two spies into Jericho while they were discovered. And so Rahab actually helped the spies um, get away so they didn't get found. And so because she did this, because she had faith in God, God actually spared her family. And we talked about, we talked about how Israel crossed the Jordan River. And so God, he had actually blocked the Jordan River so the Israelites could cross through it and so into the promised land. And so the priests that were carrying the Ark of the Covenant showed their faith by stepping into the um stepping into the to the river. And so um Joshua set up twelve memorial stones. Do y'all remember those? We talked about the different memorials. I think Miss Donna taught this and we talked about the different memorials um around the world, like the Statue of Liberty. I hope that jogs your memory. And so in so Joshua he ended up set, setting up twelve memorial stones to remind the the future generations um, of the miracle that God had performed here. Next lesson, we talked about how Israel was going to conquer Jericho. Now, I know a lot of y'all have probably heard the story of Jericho and the walls being falling down and everything. And so God wanted them to march around Jericho every morning for six days. And on the seventh day, they marched around the city seven times and gave a great shout. And they watched the Lord collapse the walls of Jericho. And so Israel destroyed the city. But remember, God spared Rahab and her family. Three lessons I'm going to go over. We didn't get to go over these. And so I'm just going to kind of give you a summary of of the next few lessons. So God, he actually gives the victory is the next lesson. And so God, he let the Israelites lose their very first battle at Ai to point out some sin that, that was happening. And you know, they sinned a lot. And remember, God punishes sin because he hates sin. And so he showed them that the victory, the victory could come through complete obedience. So they had to obey God and do what God had told them to do. And so God, he gave, the, he finally gave the um, Israelites victory over over Aya and over five more kings. And so, and so that's very important. We always want to obey and do. Um, what God t tells us to do. Israel finally receives the land. And so God fulfilled his promises to Abraham to make his descendants into a great nation and to give them the land of Canaan. And so Caleb and Joshua, they always remained faithful to God. And so God rewarded their trust by giving them a very special inheritance. So over the 300 year period of judges, Israel, they, they repeated sin. They kept sinning and they kept um, re repeating the cycle of idolatry, and that's where you worship things that aren't God. And so God punished Israel because he punishes sin. He doesn't like sin. Y'all got to remember. And so they cried out to him. And so each time they repented, God um, delivered Israel um, and so and provide, providing and showing um, his faithfulness to Israel. And so those are the lessons that we kind of didn't get to get to, but it's kind of a little bit of an overview. And I hope you understood that. And so in a couple days, I'll actually be posting our new lesson and we're going to go over that lesson. And so um, I'm going to post our new um, memory verse video as well. And so hopefully um, you can go over that and remember your verse. And so, um, when I do the new video, we're, we're going to be talking about, let's see if I can find it. 
how God uses Gideon. And so we're going to be talking about Gideon. And so get prepared. It's going to be in the book of Judges. And so um, we're going to talk about how God uses Gideon in a certain way and in a special way. And so I hope that you are being hey for your parents. And I really miss you. And I wish I could give you a big giant hug. But we're going to close in prayer. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for today, Lord. I thank you for each and every one of these boys and girls, Lord. I really miss them, Lord, and I hope and I pray that they're safe and that their families are safe, Lord. And I hope that we can get back get back together soon and be with um, be with each and every one of them in, in your house, Lord. And I just thank you for everything that you've given us and thank you for all of our many blessings. Amen. I will see you guys later. Bye.